AITA for banning alcohol from Christmas. My husband's family likes to drink. Every holiday includes multiple bottles of wine cocktails. I hate drinking I have never drank my father was an alcoholic I think it's childish if you can't have fun without drinking. This year I'm hosting Christmas for a change I decided since it's at my house no alcohol allowed we are all getting older and it's time to grow up. My husband's sister called to ask what she could bring. She saw a recipe for a Christmas martini that she wanted to bring. I told her about my no alcohol rule. She didn't say much but must have told the rest of the family. Some of them started texting me asking me if I was serious and saying that it is lame. But I'm not budging. Now it turns out my husband's sister is hosting an alternate gathering that almost everyone is choosing to go to instead. It's so disrespectful all because they would have to spend one day sober. My husband told me he talked to his sister and we are invited to her gathering and he said we should just go and stop causing issues but I won't it's so rude. Now husband is mad because I'm making him stay home and spend Christmas with me but it was my turn to host and I chose to have a no alcohol they could have dealt with it for one year. Info. Have any past Christmases events been absolutely ruined because of alcohol? By that I mean violence, drama, puking on the floor, whatever? If not, this is a pretty strange rule to implement with your husband's family. They have nothing to do with your father being an alcoholic. If my boyfriend told my mother she can't drink wine with her Christmas supper I would find that weird as hell. YTA unless something truly awful happened previously due to alcohol that would explain this. YTA for a variety of reasons. 1. For unilaterally banning alcohol. It's presumably your husband's house too so why didn't you have a discussion with him? 2. For getting mad that someone else decided to host Christmas after they found out you banned alcohol. An invitation is not a summons and you're imposing rules a lot of people don't want to follow on. The holidays. 3. From not allowing your husband to celebrate Christmas with his family. That's not your decision to make. 4. For your overall attitude around your ILs and drinking. Having a few drinks for the holidays is okay. It's not a gross or nasty thing that we should judge. Edit. It did not occur to me until y'all started commenting that op was intentionally not telling anyone. Her husband included that it was a dry party to intentionally trick them into coming. Add that as reason number 5 YTA. Kindly. YTA. I understand where you come from. But you need to understand where other people come from too. It's not your wedding or your birthday. This celebration is not about you and your wants. It's a celebration to bring people together. Most people work hard all year and rarely get to see their family. When they do, they want to relax and celebrate. It sucks. But yes, alcohol is part of this. I get that you don't want to see people dead drunk in your house. But there is an healthy, a couple of drinks, in between. As a non-drinker who also saw my share of alcoholism, I totally understand where you are coming from. But unless something very specific has happened that you can point to, or you established up front that you wanted to host alcohol-free gatherings, YTA for making such a major change to the rules and expecting his family to fall in line. Christmas is not about yous about family, friendship, tradition, and celebrating together, and you chose to marry into a family in which alcohol is an integral part of their tradition, and you're childish and it's time to grow up comments are judgmental and downright sanctimonious. I almost gave this an ESH because your husband wasn't fully supporting you. But it seems like you didn't actually discuss this rule change with him. And he does have a right to have input into something major like this. YTA and your husband should just go and enjoy his holiday. It would be a great present for you since you seem to love being judgmental. 
YTA because you made an executive decision for everyone else and now you're pouting because they found a way around you. That type of behavior is childish as well. You can make rules for your home. You can choose to not drink and not like to be around drinking. Nobody else has to be forced to come in line with your expectations. They are allowed to do as they please. Elsewhere. YTA for having a fit when no one wants to attend your optional gathering where alcohol is banned. Because you personally think it's childish. Now all your in-laws know that you think they're immature alcoholics. So why on earth would you expect them to go to your dinner when you think that about them? No less on a holiday where yes. Most people expect there to be festive alcoholic drinks served. I don't even drink at dinners outside my home because I'm always driving home after. But I sure wouldn't attend one like yours. Yeah turkey ain't that good. YTA for your attitude and the way you went about this. Okay, your house, your rules and all so you can ban alcohol from the Christmas celebration you're hosting if you wish. Your judgmental attitude towards those who chose to drink and your unilateral imposition of your choice on your husband and guests make you ta. Did you even bother to tell your guests about this alcohol ban ahead of time? Or were you planning to announce it when they arrived and it was too late for them to make alternative arrangements? Because from what you wrote here, it sounds like the ban came as a total surprise to all of those invited including your own husband, and was only discovered in advance because Syl asked you about a holiday martini recipe she wanted to try. You are free to celebrate however you want, especially when you're hosting. But they're free to choose to decline your invitation to host if you're going to make absurd, unilateral, totalitarian rules like this. If I were your husband, I would go to the alternative Christmas party and leave you home alone. YTA. You need therapy to deal with issues caused by your dad's alcoholism. My dad was an abusive alcoholic. But I would never call others, childish, or say they need to, grow up, for drinking. I drink myself. I don't blame them for organizing something else. For most. Christmas is the one time of year they can let go and enjoy themselves. YTA for trying to dictate their day. YTA. While it's your decision, the comments you made about drinking being childish and needing to grow up is where I decided. Just because you have an unhealthy relationship with alcohol doesn't mean every else needs to. You made a decision about your house. That no one liked so they chose an alternative. Now if you don't go you're going to more than likely alienate everyone from you and your husband. YTA. It's one thing to decide you don't want to drink. Or to host an alcohol-free party. It's another to get all huffy when other people decide that's not for them and make other plans. Especially after you've gone out of your way to make it clear that your idea of fun and or adult behavior in no way lines up with theirs. I was hovering between NAH and YTA. But I'm going to go with YTA. The reason I'd say NAH is because you can set the rules at your house they can choose not to attend because of it. However, I do think YTA because of your attitudes towards people who drink. Your judgmental attitude. For shoving your husband in the middle. And for thinking everyone else is ta because they don't want to make the same choice as you do. You're banning alcohol because you personally think it's childish. You're judging people who drink. And you're surprised they don't want to get together with you? Neither would I. And not because you're not serving alcohol. But because of your snobby, holier than thou attitude. You think you're better than them because you don't drink or at the very least. That's the vibe you're giving off. Edit. To clarify the ruling is YTA. YTA. Sure, you can have a dry party. But your attitude about it is way too judgmental. It also sounds like you weren't really going to communicate it until the martini recipe came up. Sorry you group up with an alcoholic parent. 
but your attitude towards others stinks. YTA for all the, it's childish, time to grow up, comments. My family are not huge drinkers. Particularly my mom but you bet your ass she'll have a drink for breakfast at Christmas. It's one of the few times everyone likes to hang out. Enjoy spending the day together and enjoy a number of drinks. We choose a new Christmas cocktail to try each year. Bucks fizz for breakfast. Champagne and or wine with lunch. No one has ever gotten messy drunk or thrown up or started a fight. Just healthy Christmas cheer. Sorry if that's too childish. Guess we should all grow up. YTA for how you talk about people who enjoy drinking at a party. Your reasons are valid that yes it is your party so your rules but not if you're telling them. It's childish if you cannot drink at a holiday party. YTA mainly for not communicating about this with your husband first and making it clear that this would be a different kind of party. A host is supposed to make people feel welcome. You are not exactly projecting that vibe in this post at all. Honestly, it seems like someone else should host it and when it gets too rowdy, have a code word with your husband that it's time to go. Then you don't have to be a captive audience to drinking. Have to worry about people drinking and driving when they leave your house. Etc. Don't be surprised if those Christmas martinis show up in a flask and people start swapping it on. The devil's strip while you're alone inside. Does your husband want alcohol? It is his house as well. YTA and here is my opinion. It's understandable you have an aversion to alcohol with the upbringing of living with an alcoholic. If your in-laws are anything like my family and millions others. This isn't a drunk fest this is family coming together for some food and drink during Christmas time. A couple of themed cocktails to go with the meal you are in charge of? Sounds ideal and perfect. You are ruining Christmas. Suck it up and apologize. Tell them they can come and explain your reasoning. Tell them you want everyone to be together and have a good time and you were only knee-jerk reacting. This could potentially damage your relationship with your husband's family so fix it now. And see a therapist if you can. I'm not be facetious either. A therapist would be able to help you cope with these strong feelings and aversions and come to terms with things from your childhood. You get to make choices. But you had better discuss the possible consequences with your spouse before you declare the new rules. Because you might not like the consequences. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Consequences happen. And 95% of the time, you do not get to choose what those consequences are. Not enough info. Are they bad drunks? Do they make people miserable and fight? Can they safely get home? Lots of addiction runs in my family. But I can recognize that most people can safely and moderately consume and still have a good time. And be safe without have to make everything dry. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.